In this demo, I will be demonstrating the paintbrush feature. So let's go ahead and open up our project here. I've already got it created. We've got a paintbrush project started. So I'm going to go ahead and click open and we're going to open this up. Let's create a say, elevation here to paint. I can assure you this will a loom cloud is about to make the um, painting features for your aluminum easier than you've ever been able to do it before in the past. We'll just choose something simple here. Give us a little height. Throw us some bays in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this this elevation real quick and let's go ahead and add us a door on the end there so we can paint the door we'll add a single door in there and as you know that's just a placeholder we do have to go up and uh, go ahead and define the door so we got our door dialog opened up here and since we got a 451 framing system we'll choose a 451 open back no transom now go ahead and throw us a leaf in there with well, the a standard panic. Let's give us a bottom rail to work with here. So there we go. And let's open that bay up just a little bit wider so we can see those side lights. Let's go ahead and throw it maybe at 80 and 80 inches in width so we can see what we're working with here. Let's go ahead and add us some horizontals in there because I'm sure we're going to want to paint a couple of horizontals. throw them up at 86 same size as that door so we got our horizontals there let's go ahead and throw us a mullion in there as well we'll, we'll want to paint a mullion we'll put a mullion on bay 2 in that horizontal too okay I don't know why I closed that out but I did but I will go back over there to it and just move that mullion around and how neat that looks there. So let's start painting with our paintbrush. Right over here you'll notice that there's a um, clear finish and then maybe a darker finish but this is this is the paintbrush feature here. So we're going to configure our finish. The first thing that we need to do is uh, choose the bay that we're going to paint. So let's choose bay 1 and automatically you'll notice that you'll see a door one in bay one so we can paint that door so let's go ahead and paint that door and what you need to realize here when you're painting the door is nine times out of ten this will never be the case but I do see painted doors all over the place um, it'd be doubtful you would ever paint a left style and a right style and a top rail and a bottom rail different but you do have that option so maybe that's something that somebody can dream up one day or something so what we've got here is the right jam you'll notice it says jam here and then we've got this left jam now we've got this header and for the T the left the right and the bottom stands for the top rail bottom rail right style left style we can paint all of this at once if we would like green so we've just painted that door frame green along with its um, its framing but if we wanted to go ahead and just leave that framing green and paint that door a different color we could choose red so now we got a red door with some green framing but say that we just wanted to paint that top rail something just a little bit different we can go let's go ahead and choose something over here that we can see what we're doing here this is doubtful this would ever happen these are demonstration purposes only so let's go ahead and put that top rail as green. We'll choose that. How about that? Now we got a uh, an ugly green top rail there. So let's let's make this um, let's make this bottom rail purple. How about that? We'll go ahead and uncheck that T and check that B. Now we got a purple bottom rail. And uh, let's do them two styles there. Let's see what kind of creativity we can come up with how about some yellow 
So let's go ahead and uh, paint those two styles a yellow. So there we go. We've there is no other program on the market that allows you to paint as easily as the paintbrush feature at aluminumcloud.com. So the next thing that we want to do is go over here and paint us a uh, horizontal. Let's choose horizontal there in uh, bay two. If you notice, you got this option that pops out in here. It's got horizontal one and bay two. So this is horizontal one in bay two. So we'll open up our paintbrush again. Notice it's still stuck on green, but you don't have to choose that. The other options are no longer available because they're no longer needed. So let's just go ahead and uh, just choose choose that old um, purple color there. So now that we've got a purple horizontal and we've got a um, really wild looking door and door frame there, let's go ahead and paint us a bay. So let's choose bay three. So we're going to choose bay three. And when that opens up, you'll notice that you have the top, which would be the header, the B would be the seal, R would be the right vertical, left would be the right, would be the left vertical. So let's paint this bay right here, bay number three, a crazy color so we can see that we're actually doing something here. So let's go ahead and go red with that. So we have now just painted that bay red. But say if we wanted to paint the right vertical for that bay a different color, it's very easily done. We can go right over here and choose from one of these predefined colors. Or we could go right back over here to our crazy um, mixture of colors here and choose blue. So let's go ahead and choose blue. So this has been the paintbrush feature. It doesn't get any easier in this when you're painting. All of the information is documented as you're painting it for each piece. Phase two will be more of an in-depth version of the paintbrush feature. But as of now, you could paint it the way you wanted it and it would be priced out on release with those painting features. Obviously the typical provider is may or may not go through the lengths of painting this for you like this. Um, if they decide not to, Alum Cloud will arrange for um, one of our alliance partners to get this thing painted the way you want it. Hopefully it doesn't look the way that I've painted it today, but this is just the demonstration purposes only. And now let's take a look and refresh here and see if everything has been saved in the cloud just like it is expected to be. So we'll open up our existing paintbrush project. We've got our paintbrush project opened up here. And we'll choose that one exciting elevation that's in here, that painted elevation. So now that we've got our painted elevation open, you'll notice that everything is saved to the database perfectly just like it is supposed to be. So this has been the paintbrush feature for loomcloud.com and I hope you enjoyed it.